could either come at a 90 degree angle or you may angulate your needle about a 20 to 30 degrees angle starting at the lateral aspect going towards the medial aspect. So in this manner. Or again, like I said, I could come straight up and down in a 90 degree. The problem with the 90 degree angle is that that joint is normally not like this. Is that that joint is normally like this. And because there's a small angulation as you're coming straight up and down, you may not be able to enter the joint. Now, how do you know that you entered the joint, right? Because that would be the question. So if I'm doing a 90 degree angle, how do I know that I enter the joint? Well, if I'm feeling bone, I know that I did not enter the joint. So I will reposition my needle in order to feel that I'm going just into the tendinous space or the ligamentous space. It's actually a ligament, a ligament. So, so how I will feel, I will feel skin nice and soft, skin nice and soft. Remember, this is very superficial. And all of a sudden I feel some resistance like penetrating a rubber band, some resistance, which the resistance is only mildly because if I hit bone, that's gonna be great resistance and my needle is not gonna be able to advance. So if I feel some mild resistance, but all of a sudden I advance my needle, then I know. How, what needle do I use? A 5 8 27 gauge needle. How much do I need to go in? Most of the times, utilizing half or three-fourths of the needle, you'll be fine.